With the price of Bitcoin having more than doubled over the past 12 months, it's safe to say that we're currently experiencing a crypto bull market. This bull market has not only impacted Bitcoin, but many altcoins as well. One of the best performing altcoins is the Solana token, which has increased in value by almost 20-fold since its recent lows. As of the time of recording this video, its market capitalization has surpassed $80 billion, making it the fifth largest cryptocurrency in the world. So what's going on with Solana that's gotten crypto traders so interested in it? One potential reason is the rise of so-called Solana meme coins. Based on how Solana's blockchain works, it's possible to create new cryptocurrencies that run on top of the Solana protocol. Many of these coins are based off of internet memes and don't even pretend to have any real-world utility. They can nonetheless surge to multi-billion dollar valuations. Even more concerningly, there seems to be a growing trend of influencers promoting Solana meme coins as pump and dumps to make a quick buck from their audience. In this video, we'll take a deep dive into the comical, degenerate, and dangerous world of meme coins, and what this can tell us about the psychology of the crypto industry. The Solana cryptocurrency was founded in 2020 by a California-based for-profit company called Solana Labs. Similar to Ethereum, Solana uses a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism to validate the transactions on its blockchain. Also similar to Ethereum, Solana supports smart contracts, which are self-executing programs stored on the blockchain. Developers can write and deploy these programs on the Solana network, enabling automated and trustless interactions between users. By leveraging smart contracts, developers have created numerous decentralized applications on Solana, including decentralized exchanges, NFT exchanges, and meme coins. To interact with Solana-based applications, users must pay transaction fees using the native Solana coin. Millions of people trade Solana coins or use Solana-based decentralized applications to trade other altcoins or NFTs. But for the most part, this trading is confined to the virtual casino known as the crypto markets, with very little, if any, interaction with the real economy. Solana's main selling point is that it can process transactions faster and more efficiently than its main competitor, Ethereum. The transaction fees you need to pay to execute a transaction on the Solana blockchain are a fraction of what you have to pay on the Ethereum blockchain. During the crypto bull run of 2021, the price of Solana surged, reaching a peak of $260 per coin. This gave it a market capitalization of about $75 billion. One of Solana's biggest supporters was Sam Bankman-Fried. His hedge fund, Alameda Research, purchased 56 million Solana coins, representing about 15% of the entire circulating supply. Sentiment around Solana turned sharply negative after the collapse of FTX. SBF had no formal relationship with Solana Labs. Solana was nonetheless viewed as being associated with him, just because his hedge fund owned a lot of the coins. By December of 2022, the price of the Solana coin fell to as low as $10 per coin, down more than 95% since its all-time highs. At this point, its market capitalization was less than $4 billion. During the post-FTX crypto winter, interest in Solana decreased substantially. In the summer of 2022, over 1 million crypto wallets were actively trading Solana. At the trough of the crypto winter in 2023, this number had fallen to about 200,000. The Solana ecosystem was almost dead but in 2024, it came back with a vengeance. The number of daily active wallets surged to over 2 million by July. The price of the Solana coin has surged 18-fold from its recent lows to $180 at the time of recording this video. The price is still lower than the all-time high of $260 achieved in 2021, but it's important to note that Solana is inflationary, so the number of coins in circulation has increased substantially during this period. The current market cap of $83 billion is higher than what it was at the peak of the 2021 crypto bubble. At least if we go by market cap, Solana has more hype today than it's ever had in the past. So what's behind the recent surge in interest? Remember that developers can write smart contracts onto the Solana blockchain. It's possible to write a smart contract that creates a new cryptocurrency and embeds this within the Solana blockchain. The transactions of the new coin are stored on the Solana blockchain. If you want to create a new cryptocurrency, there are a few advantages to using the Solana blockchain. Firstly, the Solana blockchain is already established, so you don't need to go through the trouble of creating your own consensus mechanism. Secondly, it will be relatively easy to get your coin listed on existing Solana-based decentralized exchanges. The vast majority of coins built on top of the Solana blockchain are so-called meme coins. They are based on internet memes and have no real-world utility. Despite their lack of utility, some of them have achieved market caps in the hundreds of millions, and in some cases even billions of dollars. As of the time of recording this video, the 34th largest cryptocurrency in the world is a Solana meme coin called Dog With Hat. It has a market cap of $2.5 billion. The coin is based on an internet meme of a Shiba Inu dog wearing a hat. 
Nobody knows who created this coin, but whoever they are, they're probably very wealthy. Dog with Hat showed that an internet meme with zero utility can be worth billions of dollars. Naturally, tens of thousands of people around the world wanted to get a piece of the action by creating their own Solana meme coins. It used to be the case that anyone with an undergraduate computer science degree could create their own cryptocurrency. Today, the process of creating a new meme coin is so simple and standardized that you don't need any coding skills at all. There's a website called Pump.Fun, where anyone can create a new meme coin in a matter of minutes. All you have to do is pick a name for your coin, a ticker symbol, and upload an image, preferably an internet meme. You need to pay a little bit of Solana to get the coin started, but other than that, the barriers to entry are almost zero. With meme coins being so easy to make, it should come as no surprise that the number of meme coins has exploded. As of June 2024, new Solana meme coins are being created at a rate of approximately 500,000 per month. Of course, the vast majority of these coins are flops with zero or negligible trading volume. If you create a new meme coin, it's very difficult for your coin to stand out when there are literally millions of other meme coins. So one method that crypto promoters have resorted to is celebrity endorsements. Over the past few months, celebrities including Caitlyn Jenner, Iggy Azalea, and others have launched Solana meme coins. We've also seen social media influencers jump on the bandwagon. For example, in June of this year, the controversial internet personality Andrew Tate started promoting a coin called Daddy. The price of the coin has declined significantly since then, but still boasts a market cap in excess of $100 million. A few weeks after Tate started promoting the Daddy coin, a YouTuber who goes by the name Boogie2988 started promoting a new coin called the Fatty coin. The Fatty coin appears to be a parody of Andrew Tate's Daddy coin. Here's a short video of Boogie2988 promoting the Fatty coin. You don't know the pressures that comes with money. You've got to determine uh, what you're going to invest in, what you're going to buy. What would you buy? Ethereum? No. True freedom comes from being a wage slave. Now, Fatty is a community for like-minded individuals that are broken free from the matrix. True happiness comes from a goldfish, from the same woman a couple of nights a month, and the occasional meme coin. Fatty for life. <laughs> Boogie2988 used to be one of the biggest channels on YouTube, with over 4 million subscribers at the peak. In recent years, his viewership numbers have declined substantially, leading to a drastic deterioration in his financial situation. He was paid $10,000 by the developers of the Fatty Coin to promote it. After a brief pump, the value of the coin has decreased significantly. Anyone who bought into the coin at the beginning and is still holding today has suffered a near total loss. Boogie was widely criticized on the internet, with many accusing him of profiting from a pump and dump scam at the expense of his audience. Boogie tried to argue that Fatty Coin wasn't a scam because only an idiot would buy a meme coin to try to get rich, especially in 2024, especially when he told his audience that they would go broke. Indeed, if you watch the video that Boogie published promoting the coin, it clearly comes across as a joke. But the fact remains that the developers paid him $10,000 for the promotion. They presumably wanted to make a return on their investment. On the first day of trading, Fatty Coin had trading volume of more than $3 million. If the developers dumped the coins on the first day, they easily could have made many multiples of the $10,000 promotion fee. With that being said, we don't know exactly who was trading the coin on the first day. Boogie himself admits that Fatty Coin is a dumb meme, and only an idiot would buy it thinking they would get rich. So how did this coin get $3 million of trading volume? Who was buying it? As part of the crypto promotion, Boogie appears to have made a Twitter account called Fatty Coin. This Twitter account is presumably controlled by Boogie or his associates. Shortly after the launch, the Fatty Coin Twitter account retweeted a trader who appears to be bullish on the coin. His reason for being bullish is that Boogie has 470,000 Twitter followers. Given Boogie's internet fame, it's guaranteed that a lot of people will hear about this crypto coin. Even if everybody knows that the coin has no intrinsic value, if people believe that other people will buy into the coin, they may try to buy the coin first. Everybody thinks they can get in on the ground floor and sell the coin to somebody who's trying to do the same thing. It's the simplest, least sophisticated version of a pump and dump. The vast majority of people involved will lose money. It's only the insiders who buy the coins before the promotion who can consistently make profits. The developers and traders of the meme coins need to pay transaction fees to access the Solana blockchain. These transaction fees are paid in the Solana coin. Half of the coins are burned, while the other half are paid to validators as rewards. Over the past year, aggregate Solana transaction fees have skyrocketed, from less than $50,000 per day to more than $2 million. 
The surge in transaction fees has been driven in large part by the millions of new meme coins. The fact anonymous developers and social media influencers can make millions of dollars by creating zero-utility meme coins exposes the insanity of the crypto industry. One of the biggest criticisms of cryptocurrencies is that they don't have any use cases in the real economy. They're primarily just tools for speculation. Today, it seems like the fastest growing parts of the crypto market consist of meme coins and social media pump and dumps. It's not a good look for the industry. Boogie was right when he said that only an idiot would try to get rich buying meme coins. The billions of dollars being pumped into meme coins since the beginning of the year proves that there are still a lot of idiots out there. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. What do you think about Solana meme coins? Let us know in the comments section below. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.